Hi, welcome back to the project deployment video. Uh, now I'm going to take you straight to the step where we can include a, pro uh, a setup in our project. Okay, remember back in olden days where we, we used to work with VB6, there used to be a separate wizard known as uh, package and deployment, and that was a separate uh, thing. W now, what .NET framework or what Microsoft has done is they have included that in the same uh, setup, y you know, uh, as I was talking about in my earlier video. Now, I'm going to take you straight to the step. Uh, now, we'll just right click on uh, my solution explorer, go to the add a new project. Okay, we'll come down to the setup and deployment project, and this is our setup project. Okay, we can give it a name, say my first setup. Okay, that's there's a name, and uh, just see what it does now. It includes that project in my solution explorer. Okay, now as you can see, it has it is giving us three folders okay this is the application folder which will be having everything I mean whatever the files that you need to include in your deployment this thing will be there user desktop for example when your application is deployed if you want to have any shortcut or, or anything uh, displayed it's gonna go here and here uh, you know uh, remember whenever you're uh, installing any application uh, you go to the start menu and then you can find the uh, new new list install program well this is where uh, the uh, files go okay now I'm just gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna right click the application folder go to the add and project output okay and here in my uh, drop down it will list all the projects that are there but right now I only have one okay and it's gonna be the primary output alright I'm just gonna click on OK because I'm gonna include this one here and uh, I'm just gonna remove this to get more room and this thing is here okay what I can do is that I can even right click and create a shortcut for this one because this is our uh, I mean our, our program and whatever the things are needed Microsoft has associated everything and included all the files with this thing alright so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna create a shortcut okay and I can say that uh, shortcut to my VBVNAP application and I can just click and drag this one to user desktop because when I want the application installed I also want the uh, setup to place a, a shortcut on the desktop alright now alright now that we have added a shortcut here okay so uh, let me show you one thing let me just close this uh, window so that uh, you know there will be more room for me to explain things to you okay uh, as you can see now now what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna go to the view menu editor and launch condition okay uh, in launch condition what exactly it does is it makes sure that uh, the client computer that you are going to install the application on is having a dotnet framework if it's not having a dotnet framework it's going to pop up a message saying that well you cannot install a windows application here because it needs to have a dotnet framework we cannot continue okay all right now i'm going to draw your attention to the 